Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about IP config command, which is included in your Windows 10 operating system. This command will show you information like your IP address, your DNS, when it was, um, when you got your IP address, and many other things. So tune in. All right, guys, so here we are on our Windows 10 desktop. So first what we're going to do is we're going to right click the bottom left corner, which is where the start menu is, and we're going to do command prompt. As you see, I'm not picking elevated command prompt because these commands can run in a normal settings. So first let's make the text bigger so you can see. So here I'm going to right click, go to properties, and I'm going to go to font, and I'm going to make it bigger and also change the font. So here we are, we have a lot bigger uh, command prompt font that we can see. So today we're going to be showing you the IP config. So let's type IP config. So we do IP config and we hit enter. We get to see a lot of information here. Windows IP configuration. So we, we have our IPv6 address. It shows our IPv4 address. It shows our subnet mask. Also shows our default gateway. Then also some tunnel adapters are shown with their appropriate uh, IPv6 addressing. And so that is that is just if we type IP config. Now if we type IP config slash all, this, if we scroll to the very top, will show our host name of the computer that we're on. So this is very helpful if you need to tell somebody your host name or therefore that is your computer name. Uh, also shows your primary DNS suffix if that is available. It also shows you no type with this hybrid. Uh, routing information, win proxy enabled, no, no, both of these are no. It also shows the ethernet adapter and their appropriate MAC addresses and addresses. DNS servers are right here. So it, let's say right here it says our DNS server. So if we go to our, that, that's DNS, so let's look at that address. Let's open up our um, our network and sharing center, and then we're going to go to adapters, and then we're going to right click on this. We're going to check to see if that is actual the DNS. So here we're going to in our Ethernet properties, we're going to go down to uh, Internet Protocol version four, and uh, see it's automatically pick them up. So if we let's say specify our DNS to Google's DNS, which is 888, and the alternative 8889, and then we're going to hit OK. Now watch this number right here. Let's see if that changed. So now, if we go ipconfig all, you see here our DNS has changed to 888-8889. So that is our DNS server here, and our the primary and then that's our secondary so um, that is uh, DNS that is changing your DNS um, let's say um, I was, that's actually how you change your DNS is what I just showed you basically going to the open network and sharing centers we're gonna hit change adapter settings right click this hit properties and go to internet protocol version 4 and that's how we change our DNS server thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video